Hello, my crafty friends. I'm back today with another little shutter card. This is the second shutter card that I've made using the Lawn Fawn die set. So I'll show you the card and then go over some of the details. So it is held closed with a little belly band and I used my brother label maker and just printed off a strip of slide off labels. And I did that because I have given cards like this to non card makers and they look at it and don't necessarily know that that is a belly band that's supposed to slide off. So they, you know, look at it and they always will turn it over to see if there's a trick on the back and then it's self-explanatory. I don't know if this one is actually going to a non card maker, but I like to have my bases covered and I have those labels printed. So there is the little belly band. It slides off and the card opens like a gatefold card and those little panels inside that resemble a camera shutter open and show the sentiment, sending virtual hugs. So the details on my card. I started off once again with this Flower Market by Cartabella. This is a pattern paper package. It has cut aparts and stickers. I've had it for a couple of years and I'm really making an effort to use it up. So that is what started the card today. My cards generally start with the pattern paper. I'll be either flipping through something, I will go to put a, a package away and another package in my stash will catch my eye and I'm off and running then inspired to make a card. And this Cardabella paper is quite heavy, so I thought I would try it with just using the pattern paper as the card base. It's double-sided as well. This is the print on the front side and then it had this pretty teal print on the inside. And it worked re really well. It did not uh, crack along the folds. And I actually had already known that because this is the second shutter card and the first one I, I used the same patterned paper. I knew that it wasn't going to crack along the folds and that's something you do have to watch with double-sided papers or even some card stock. I, I find die cuts with a view or recollections um, from Michaels. I find they will often crack. So I use those for decorative panels rather than a card base, but this one worked really well. So as I said, this uses the Lawn Fawn shutter card. So I have the Lawn Fawn shutter card die set and, and at the same time I had also bought the Lawn Fawn add-on. Now this is a die set that I bought last spring and I'm just starting to use it now, which is a little embarrassing, but I didn't need it. It was a total impulse buy and then I was worried that I wouldn't like it after I had spent the money on it. And and remember, I'm in Canada, so these these dies are costing me at least 30% more than they would if I, if I was in the US. So they are definitely an investment, um, but I have to tell you, now, now that I've started using it, I have so many ideas and I think this could be my favorite shutter card die set. So the belly band has the hello on the front. That is a Karen Berniston die, the hello, and it has the shadow as well, which is awesome. So I cut the shadow out of a craft card stock because it coordinated with one of the colors in the pattern paper. And then I cut the hello from a light pink pattern paper and used a finger daubers to add color to the bottom for sort of an ombre look. And then I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's also Wink of Stella along the bottom for a little added shimmer. So that's the sentiment on the front. It doesn't need anything else. The shutter card die set comes with panels, decorator panels that you can add to either side. That's what I did on my first card, but it also comes with this belly band die. And I think that's such a brilliant addition. So there's the belly band, you cut two of them. It has the score lines and it's sized to fit perfectly on this shutter card. So I love that. I don't invest in a lot of lawn fawn dies simply because I find the sizes of the cards are quite small. This one folded is three and a half by five, which is smaller than an A2. But when you open it up, it's a full five by seven and that feels substantial. And as I said, I'm having so much fun and I can't wait to play with it again. When I make shutter cards, I do like to add acetate to further resemble a camera shutter. So I add the acetate to the back side of this center panel. So whichever set I'm using, I do like to add the acetate. And that also gives you the opportunity to add an embellishment or something into the opening. And for that, I've used the Rainbow Hearts Shape Sprinkles from Doodlebug Designs. This is actually my second package of them. I just adore these little things. And they're actually nice and flat, so they don't add a lot of bulk, um, even putting them on the front of a card. The sentiment, sending virtual hugs, that is from Waffle Flower. Safe at home sentiments. 
and the heart that's there I stamped inside as well. So I used VersaFine Clear Ink for my stamping and there's texture. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's actual texture on that circle. I die cut a circle from my stash. I believe I used my Hero Arts Infinity Circles and I just sized one that was a little bit bigger than the circle opening and then slid it inside. I don't even know if I can... You can't, you can't see it, <laughs> but I did glue it to the backing card and I die cut it from a pattern paper in the package that was quite big. It had a floral spray down the side. These are 12 by 12 pattern papers, so there was a lot of kind of that off-white background showing, so that's what I used. That particular pattern is not going to work for me for making cards. And I can't remember what's on the back side, but it wasn't one of my favorites, let's say. So I am able to use that pattern paper simply by, um, by selective die cutting it. There's my second card using the Lawn Fawn Shutter Card die set. I've got lots of ideas for more. You can expect to see them. I will also put in the description box um, the label on my blog for all of the different shutter cards that I've made in case you're curious and just want a quick scroll through. If you enjoyed my video today, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. And that's it for me today.